I just want to mention this one more time. In no way, shape, or form would I condone what the song is talking about. Not one bit. So, when you see the words, they are very twisted. But like I said, if you ever, if you grew up in the same era as me, again, I'm 42. You've heard Good Charlotte, um, the one of the dudes who's married to uh, Cameron Diaz, and the other ones, their brothers, and the other ones married to uh, Nicole Richie. Um, and they came up with this uh, song called Loving Valentine. Um, and it was very similar to this. So I don't know if this is like a punk rock thing or just like, you know, a rock thing, period. But what I loved about the song, and the first time I heard it, see, I'm the type of person is, I want to listen to music first. I want to see how it's going. That's what I'm doing I'm like just visualizing in my head and I'm just kind of like cutting out words I'm not even listening to them so by like the third go around then I'm listening to the words and that was kind of the same thing with this because I loved the guitar riff I love that guitar riff so much that it's almost prompted me to go out and freaking buy another guitar and buy another amp I mean it is that good but when I started reading the words, I'm like, wow, this is pretty fucking <laughs> demented. So, you know, it, I'm not intending for it to be that way. The only reason why I'm posting the song is because it is a great song musically. So there's my uh, there's my warning. <laughs> OK, so I hope the last video I put together that the recording was a little bit more clear. I've been having some fucked up issues with this recording uh, from this uh, open source, uh, you know, video editor, and I've tried everything, and so I uh, I tweaked it a little bit. So I'm hoping that there's no more of that choppiness because I'll review it and it sounds perfectly fine. So I think it has something to do with the upload. So I intentionally the other night. Uh, I um I put down well I mean not put down I guess a, a better way of saying it is um uh I went from uh, 4K to 1080 and then I said screw it let's just do a 720 and even at 70, 720 <clears throat> sounded like shit um so then I had problems with my 4K camera sent that in for the warranty waiting for that and I'm recording on a 1080p which you know I mean it's it's nice but you know the doesn't beat the 4k with the 4k I didn't notice any uh, any audio issues and be almost before every video I have to issue you know hey look I apologize if the sounds coming in all shitty you know or if it's choppy or whatever apologize about that I don't you know I wish I could hopefully I fixed it with what I did today so um, if you watched uh, the last video which is actually loading up as we speak then you're going to hear a song that I absolutely love but oh my god see well here here's a good example someone liked when I put, if the audio dips, I absolutely apologize. I don't know what the f is happening with this recording format, so please forgive me. Stick with this. I want to say a little bit more in detail, but now I'm getting all this other stuff. Okay, so. <sighs> this next song. I absolutely love the guitar riff. And... It, it's it's hard to explain about certain certain songs because you don't necessarily have to like the words and then I'm listening to the guitar riff and I hear then I started paying attention to the words and I'm like wow this is like a full out psycho <laughs> uh, song and then it brought me to uh, if you guys ever heard a good Charlotte's uh, my lovely valentine that came out about what 
20 years ago, 15 years ago or so. And uh, it's, yeah, it's along those lines. But I don't care for the song because of the words. I just like the music to the song. So that being said, it's by one of my favorite bands, uh, Newfound Glory. And it's called uh, Living Hell. There's not a video to it, and it's relatively short, so, um, like I said, I like it for the guitar playing and for the music. The words are just, yeah, I didn't even know what the words were until I, uh, looked up the lyrics, and let me, might as well just put the lyrics up here so you guys could understand what they're saying, because at first I had no idea what the hell they were saying, and I even have it right here, one of the first things. <laughs> living hell lyrics because I'm like what the hell are they actually saying and then I'm like oh okay but here it is like I said it has a, a great uh, how can I say it I mean the guitar riff and the playing is awesome <laughs> but the words are yeah for uh, one of those psycho ex-boyfriends or psycho ex-girlfriends however you look at it so here it is to get made fun of all the time back in the day I used to be able to sing I lost my singing voice um, partially because when I used to get really stressed out when I got in the entertainment industry all my life and even now to this day you know I remained athletic I'm always watching my weight um, I know the camera adds like five to ten pounds you know I'm always gonna maintain that so you know I'm a lot smaller than what the camera makes me look. <laughs> All joking aside, um, whenever I get really stressed the hell out, yeah, you know, I'll have a cigarette. You know, Colorado, I mean, everywhere you go around Denver, it smells like skunk, which obviously were synonymous with weed. And, I mean, there is a, a, a dis not just a dispensary, but grow houses that are like the size of... Uh, not quite I mean I what's the best to, like maybe the size of a Walmart like you know just a medium like a, a regular medium sized Walmart not like a super big one but man everywhere you go like during their harvesting season it just reeks of weed in certain parts of Denver and for me I I, I Hey, I don't knock it. I have a lot of friends who do it. Smoke for join or eat edibles. I cannot handle it. The first few, few times, the first two times I smoked it, I laughed my ass off. I had a great time. Then after that, somebody gave me some hard shit, and I was like knocked out. I'm like, how can you function off of this shit? 
<laughs> After that, I said never again. So I've tried it like four times in my lifetime. I don't plan on trying it again. But I do something even worse. When I get extremely stressed out, I'll smoke a cigarette. And, you know, living here, a mile above sea level, I can still go play basketball, I can still go jogging, but I like to walk uh, just because of uh, my lower back problem. Um, you know, it has an effect on my breathing. And I definitely am cognizant whenever I meet somebody uh, because not a lot of women want to meet a, you know, want to hook up with a smoker. So whenever I'm in a relationship with a, a woman who doesn't smoke, I don't, I don't smoke. If they stress me the heck out, I'll smoke and then I'll eat like a can of Altoids. So yeah, my mouth will be like on fire and I'll be smelling like mints for a month. But you know, I always make sure to uh, cover up. I uh, when I was working at the VA, I used to bring and this is when I used to be married, I was always stressed out by my ex, so I was smoking a lot more, so I'd always bring home, you know, the the gloves that, you know, you wear before, you know, you put your hands on a patient or whatever, because guys, if you're ever trying to, like, you know, like, hide a cigarette from your, your girlfriend or your wife or something, get those gloves, because the cigarette smoke will not penetrate those, and I had an ex who was psycho about this, like, if I smelt the slightest like smoke, she would just start going batshit crazy. So you probably have a lot cooler ex, um, or a lot cooler of a girlfriend than my ex was. You know, just put on one of those gloves, use that hand, smoke downwind, you know, prepare to eat a whole bunch of Altoids. I mean, I had this shit down to a science, <laughs> and she never detected it. Uh, but like I said, whenever I get into a relationship, I know like, hey, they don't like the smell of that. I'm going to respect that. I'm not going to smoke, you know, but I'm always honest with them. I'll say, hey, look, if I do get stressed out, I'm sorry. I have to smoke, whatever. And I'm just going on a rant because, again, I don't want to get a copyright strike. So here, back to the song. Can I give you a ride back home? You can tell me where I went wrong. There's a psycho's anthem. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, yeah, like I said, I, I like the song for the just the way it's played. Just straight up. Just for the way it's played. Um, it's definitely, like I said, uh, for one of those psycho exes who's probably just sitting there constantly thinking, you know, how am I going to screw up my, uh, my ex-girlfriend's new relationship? And, uh... Yeah, it's just an awesome song to me. So, um, I don't agree. I mean, because that's definitely not my uh, my approach to <laughs> solving anything. But hey, to each of their own. I hope you guys aren't going to this extreme, but it's just a good song. And many of the songs that we listen to are things that we're not doing anyways. We're not blinging out. Um, what are some other songs that, you know, we're not, uh, lucky enough to have a beach house or going through something traumatic as a loss of a, you know, spouse. Hopefully not a lot of people are. Let me rephrase that. Um, you know, a lot of us need to learn how to be more honest, which is why I will always love Alejandro's audition. I love Out Loud. I mean, I could play that all the time and just still get chills from it. Um, but 
since I'm kind of on this punk rock trip right now, I'm going to play post one more song, and that is going to be another New Found Glory song, but the song that actually got them famous. Um, there's two songs that actually are kind of like their claim to fame. Um, Blink-182 was featured in American Pie, the very first one, when uh, Jim, that was his name, right? Uh, where the Russian girl kind of sounds like my story <laughs> except for the 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 whole part that uh you know he sets a webcam up and then he covers it up when she's trying to get him to unclothe you know and shannon elizabeth is you know doing her thing and um you know they have blink 182 there you know uh guest starring and they perform one of their songs in the background and then on American Pie 2, when they're at the beach house, uh, they featured uh, New Found Glory and one of their popular songs. Um, that's a song that a lot of people will recognize if they were big you know, American Pie fans from American Pie 1 or American Pie 2. Uh, but the song that actually really like, got them notoriety uh, is a song that I'm going to put up next. So, again, just on my punk rock vibe tonight. So I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> 